Then we got Diamond David Thompson, the dunking master himself. Then we got my boy Sean Marion for that lockdown D at that. Look at this agility in the big man. He cannot be stopped in the post. He pumps. But guess what? Everyone fight. He has an also a 99 draw. Listen, AZ, you're doing good, alright? You're doing good. Your videos are going. But we need a new idea. Thanks, but there's like the end of 2K17. There's not that many good things you could do on 2K now. I mean, it's pretty much dead. Uh, we can do a draft challenge. I mean, not that many people do that on the. No, it's not a good idea. You gotta think of something better. How about a challenge on NBA 2K17? But isn't that what I just said? No! Uh, okay, then what about Mini Hoop Challenge? No! Alright then, how about, uh, how about a spin the wheel challenge? I've seen, you know, popular YouTubers do that, like Druid and all that. How about combine them both into one big challenge? That's not a bad idea. I, I would do that. I know. Okay then. Let's get it. But today, we are starting off with the Ruby Raiders. Oh, Sapphire Savages. And today, we have the first episode of the NBA 2K17 Emerald Elite. Hey guys, what is up? It's Absolute Sub Zero here, and we're doing something a little different for the next couple days. Right now, I'm gonna be going on vacation for the, until August 4th. I'll be back ready with the regular videos August 5th. Now, however, starting now, I'm gonna be doing vlogs. It's something that's gonna be different. I'm not used to that. Hey guys, what is up? It is Azzy here, and today this is our second vlog. Sorry about the huge gap between both the vlogs. I'm really not used to the vlogs and I'm kind of not wanting to just jump on that right away. I still like to make my main priority making 2K videos. Hey guys, what is up? It is Anzi here and today we're back with a very special video. While I was on vacation, I was just scrolling through my Twitter and I'd seen something very interesting. I'd seen a fake Troy account DM me on my Twitter and ask me if I wanted to buy him. See, obviously it's fake. Like, oh, nope. Nope, it didn't go in. Come on. Hey guys, what is up? It is AZ here and I'm very excited to make this video because we are actually at around 520 plus subs. Um, sorry, I'm doing this a little too late. But I also want to say thank you to the 520 plus people who have subscribed to me, especially the original people under the 500 mark. And that was very much appreciated. You know, um, my channel is growing. You know, um, something I want to say that I will continue to work harder on, and it's been really interesting to see how I've been growing with my channel. And I've really been taking this seriously since like June, and you know, been off from school 
and I don't know how I'm going to be able to manage it with sports, school, and you, I don't know how I'm going to be able to manage all three of them together. But I'm going to try, I'm going to still try to get videos out. Once 2K18 comes out, get ready. There's going to be a lot of content. Right now it's just a little slow, I have soccer, and you know I have to deal with a lot of other personal things. But I really wanted to get this specific video out because I want to be appreciative and I want to build a better connection with my viewers. Uh, the first question from Sports Means Everything from Instagram is, my Q&A question is, how long have you liked NBA 2K? The first NBA 2K I had was in 20, was 2K13, it was 2K13 for the, actually the Wii U. That was the first 2K I ever had, prior to that, my brother had a PlayStation 2, and what we would do is we would play uh, NBA Live 06, 07, I remember I have NBA Live 09 for the PSP, but I never had a 2K until NBA 2K 13. I didn't get 2K 14, and I ended up getting 2K 15 and so on. You know, I ended up getting 2K 15 like uh, right before 2K 16 came out. So I, I mean, I when I, I only I bought an Xbox. I mean, I've only had an Xbox for about three years. So um, yeah, it, it's been a while. You know, I haven't hadn't done video games. I hadn't played video games much when I was younger. So. Um, you know, I'm doing more of that right now. Alright, next question is also from Instagram. Uh, LittleKid19 asks, who's your favorite team and player? My favorite player is James Harden, uh, and my favorite team is the Knicks. I've been a Knicks fan since I started to love and watch the game of basketball. And James Harden, I always love how he, he can move through the court smoothly and have the ball in his hands. And, he can basically move better with the ball than without. He's just that good and the, the creativity he has is just phenomenal. It's beyond anybody I've ever seen in the NBA. Next question is uh, from Swervo5. He asks, what's your favorite NBA team? The Knicks. MTZ Caleb 2001 asks, how do you feel about Kyrie Irving to the league? Kyrie Irving is probably one of the best point guards in the league and he can make a team a contender, not a title contender but a playoff contender and that is very important for an NBA team. Uh, I Hopefully he will come to the Knicks. Uh, it's hard for me to say that and without us giving up Porzingis for Melo but uh, yeah that's just, that's another video that hopefully I don't have to make. Baller 0.5 asks, most embarrassing experience in your life in Great Vids. First off thank you for the support I really do appreciate that. Most embarrassing moment in my life. Uh, our most embarrassing moment in my life was uh, I ended up making a song and it was a really bad song. It was just like something stupid. It was for fun. And when I made it, you know, we were in chat. I would, people would play it during, because I do track. I do soccer, basketball, don't know about this year, and track. And uh, I do track. That's my primary sport. That's the sport I'm best at. And track, one of my friends actually now graduated in college um, she ended up posting my songs link on like this I like this like, group chat thing with everybody who's going to that college and I'm not revealing the name of the person the college of the person or anything other details besides they leaked the actual song I made into the comment uh, yeah I mean uh, I, don't, I don't know if I've already released a song yet you know, to you guys but uh it, it was, uh, it was, it was, yeah, I, I'm not responding anymore. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, that was the most embarrassing moment of my life. Uh, it was just, it was just really, it, the song actually was pretty popular in my school. I mean, it was a bad song, but I mean, it was just for fun. Next question from probably Maisie is, what is your dream? Uh, I have three possible career paths to happen in my life. Uh, primary career path is make YouTube videos for a living. Uh, that is my primary career path. Secondary career path is to be a, a video designer or graphic designer for, or a video editor for a major movie production or be a director or something like that sort. Or making a my own production that does really well. And my final thing was just work. I mean, just be a normal human being. I mean, that's not a dream, but that's just a career path that could happen. Uh, like I said, I was pretty, I'm pretty good at track. I think I can get to college, but I mean, that's about it. All right, and now we're on YouTube uh, questions. So we got 
Jordan Grace, he asked, Will you ever want to play Park With Me and my boys? Well, I will. Uh, 2K17 is kind of dead, and I'm not interested in playing 2K17. I had an idea of doing a, I got this idea from, I don't remember who, I'll probably flash the person's question up here somewhere. It was to do a Orlando Magic rebuild challenge, and I was doing it, and as I was recording, I might say to myself, this is the most boring thing I've ever recorded in my entire life. And it's gonna take me like forever to make. It's gonna probably take me around a couple hours to make. I mean, these things are quick. I mean, these seasons don't go by it's like, like that. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's an idea of what I wanted to do. But yeah, when 2K18 comes out, I'll be happy to play you guys in park. And me, even NBA Live 18, I will be playing. Ryan Lackey asks, it's a very common question. What is your name? All right, well, I guess I could say it my name, uh, you know what I'm gonna say? My name is... Oh crap, this camera died, all right. Ah. Hopefully you got it. Yeah, so that's my name, guys. Uh, next question is from Lyle Oosterling. If you went to the NBA, would you rather be on the Suns or Hornets? The Hornets jerseys are really cool. <laughs> I like the Hornets jerseys, I've only liked them. Uh, since they got the new rebrand, uh, the Suns are a very good team, but I have to say the Suns. The Suns are just going in a great direction. They're going to be a couple years down the line a force to be reckoned with. Next question from the Heat fan, 21. He has two questions. He has opinion on the Phoenix Suns and opinion on the Miami Heat. Uh, my opinion on the Phoenix Suns we just went over with, so I'm not going to reiterate on that. My opinion for the Miami Heat is they are a team with. They're a really gritty team. I mean, they're just they weren't expected to do anything last season, and they you know second half of the season they had the best record. In the second half of the season, not the, in the league, they had the second half of the season, they had the best record in the league. Not the whole entire season, second half of the season. It was like, yeah, they lost like seven games, six games, or whatever. It was something like that. It was crazy. They won like 30 something games, but they did really well. Um, if they get more draft picks, I think they can evolve a little more. Uh, Justin Swinslow, I don't feel will be anything special besides a wing defender. Hassan Watson, he's still getting his 2K rating up. Warren Dragic is just, he's there until. Trade piece. Uh, who knows what's going on with LeBron? You know, if he's going to be coming back to Miami next season, but yeah, it's just up in the air. All right, next question is from Big Blue 2K. What made you start YouTube, and also where are you from? Uh, what made me start YouTube was before NBA 2K. I used to uh, play Pokemon. I mean, that was just the game I was good at when I was younger. I was actually very good at the game for somebody of my age at a young, young age. I mean, this is elementary school, maybe early middle school. I was very good at the game. Uh, it taught me a lot of strategy. It made my mind smarter. I ended up you know, being good at, with that game as alone. I was able to learn other games. I involved strategy and sports. Also, it helped me out in that. But yeah, what happened was I was watching people on YouTube and I saw that, wait, that's it. That's, that's what you have to do on YouTube. You have to be your own personality. You have to be yourself. I'm like, well, my, I like myself. I mean, I think I'm a uh, very energetic person. I feel like I'm very good with people, I'm a very kind person. So I feel like, why not? I mean, I can do this. I mean, I'm a great, I think I'm a great editor. Uh, I, I can edit videos. I've made videos such as the Celtics team preview when I just came out with a couple days ago. I mean, that was something that took me a week. There's only one other person that's better than me, which I believe is Shady 2K. He is the person who inspired me to do YouTube and do start doing 2K videos. The very first NBA 2K trailer was a very rough, very rigid. You could probably find it. It's called uh, the Untold Story NBA 2K17 trailer. You look at it now and it just has no substance. When I made it, I thought it was great. I thought it was the most fantastic thing I've ever seen. And then as I evolved, I got new software and it looked like a different project. I mean, I looked like a way better editor than I ever felt like. People will comment and say, you should work for 2K. And you know, if that ever happens, it happens, but I'm not gonna, you know, beat a dead horse per se and uh, do, you know, say something that will never come true. Uh, the second part of the question is where I'm from. I am from. Jesus, I just does it again. Oh my god, I need to get a new camera. Yeah, uh, so that's where I'm from. Question from MuttGod13 is Would you like for YouTube to become a career for you? Yes, I mean, that is something I want, as I said previously, I want that to be my primary career path. I think I can be very good at it once I grow and I can develop and my channel can get to a certain point where I'm, I'm there. Um, but guys, I just, um, that's that's the, basically the video. Uh, I just want to have a little one-on-one -on -one talk with you guys 
I also want to say how my channel will grow. You will see differences once in a while. We have just recently done a rebrand. There's a shout out to the people who helped me with the rebrand. Links down below. Uh, I just want to say thank you to them. It's really much appreciated. So yeah, guys, make sure to like, subscribe, post notifications, and I will see you guys later. Peace.